orchids, orchids everywhere. Jungle Gnosis Retreats this year is nestled in the foothills of the Andes Mountains in the Amazon rainforest. And we are surrounded by neighbors that have interesting features and attractions like the lagoons. Uh, and also we have Ruth's Garden that features a bunch of uh, botanically interesting plants and culturally interesting plants. Head over there and have a look and check it out. Please do me a favor and hit the like button, share these videos, subscribe, and you can join our Patreon as well if you would like to join our secret streams and check out our patron-only content. So already here at the gates before we've entered, uh, we have a medicinal plant called Chirixananga, Brumsfeldsia grandiflora. Um, the leaves, bark, and flowers are all used to make medicine to boost the immune system for colds. Uh, and the roots are used in certain shamanic initiations for the shawar, but it's very, very dangerous. There's a special dieta, and it's really only used once for the initiation itself. Um, but then also the bark is used as a painkiller. Um, it's also used to treat STDs. Pene del Diablo, the penis of the devil, for obvious reasons. This is a palm, a walking palm species. This looks like maybe a small ax head. Could be Incan or pre-Incan. There's a couple of others here. They're maybe scrapers some kind. Oh! Here's a slightly more mature one. Isn't that crazy? So tiny little pineapple. Everywhere in the jungle you'll see these, they look like vines, but they're actually aerial roots that are coming from these plants up in the trees, and then they will fasten themselves to the jungle floor and slurp up water and nutrients for the plant. This plant is called Flor de Boca, the mouth flower, because <laughs> here, this one and this one's massive. I don't know what they are. They're not ayahuasca or anything else medically uh, significant, but this tree is awesome. This is not a walking palm. In case you're not familiar with that, the myth is that at night, the palms would go walking around the jungle. That's not true, but it is true that they do move. Uh, we know one biologist that has tracked, I think he said five meters or something like that, 25 feet uh, over the course of 30 years or something. So they move very slowly, but they do move around. Um, and so, uh, yeah, this is a similar type of root system, but I don't know that I've ever seen one that has this many long and it's just, it's like an octopus. This is just crazy. So this is the usual um, walking palm, the authentic OG walking palm. Terrible spikes. I mean, these things are super sharp and the indigenous will actually use it as a grater and take the yucca and grate it when they're making flour to make their tortillas. Here is a very small uh, wild ginger flower. These are great because they hold a lot of water. So you can get ginger flavored water for washing your face or to drink. Um, and it feels incredible, like like hard, waxy, very, very strange. A couple of smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And here is a coca plant. And from a source of cocaine, but also very, very high in vitamins and antioxidants. Extremely good for you medicinally. This particular type doesn't have very much cocaine at all. Very mild. It's great for teas. Some pinwheel jasmine, also known as Uchu Sananga. Um, it's related to the Sananga that is used in ayahuasca rituals. Uh, but this one has a slightly different chemical profile. It's still used medicinally. The flowers used as an aphrodisiac. This is pretty much our neighborhood. <laughs> 